all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back to back update and information as see the hot uh this pastor will be saved the see for your scream don't bring one big obonga prophecy uh will be say god give them about the biafran people who, uh, and awaiting the pastor they try touch light be that uh, i want to make you pay attention to that particular video make you hear from this particular pastor rcdb uh, because uh, and a person where they see for the spiritual and then they talk waiting god they show them for the physical uh, that one you know be my own because me i know the pastor uh, but now this person and then they see the things where we say they happen for the spiritual world and don't talk waiting god review about the biafra people and this one where you they see my important message though it be like say the right time uh, for the people of Umu Chineke to be free, don't come. Just listen to the message, uh, watch the video, and see what in this man the try to touch life. I go come back uh, after you finish watching the popular video. Thank you. Every service, sometimes last year, God gave me prophetic messages once in a year. As we graduated to this year, we started seeing it that it came monthly. Now he has taken it to another level that every service day he gives me a message to the nation. And it happens likewise. To those of you who have followed this altar prophetically, I need not to overemphasize it. You see how God has been answering our prayers. And God has been bringing to pass what we declare on this altar through of us. God has indeed given me a message to Nigeria and precisely to a group of people called Biafra. If you are an evil person, I'm not making a mistake by using that word, true of us. True. How many Igbo persons are here? There are many. There yeah. is no place you cannot find an Igbo person. We are plenty. Plenty, Abi. Yes, My sir. wife is an Igbo person, so I'm your in-law. So I love Igbo so much. Any part of the world where you don't see an Igbo man, please relocate. Sure. Because they are everywhere. <laughs> I'm just making a joke. But that is actually the fact. So there is a message to the Igbos or to the beer France, as you may put it. But before I go ahead to release that message, that prophetic message, last Wednesday, did you hear us talk about the reduction of price of commodities? Yes. God gave me five things that are about to happen in Nigeria. Number three, there is one, you know, when they draw a chart and there is a slope like this and it goes up, I see the price of commodities in Nigeria that we once said is going high. I see so many things coming down this season. Amen. But at a point it will go up again. <laughs> you say Holy Ghost fire. <laughs> we talked about it on Wednesday and it's been happening. As a matter of fact, I'm not saying they say this is a real proof. Back of uh, packs of Indomie that was close to 10, 11,000 dropped down this same week. 18,000. How much is it now? It dropped down. Packs of Indomie within a week. Now, I'm not telling you this. You say, I bought it myself. Last week, before that Wednesday, when we said this, we bought cement 11,500. As I'm speaking to you, cement dropped to 8,000. I am not saying that them say I bought with my money. So, when we release prophetic messages here, Prophecies are not meant to scare you, but to direct you. Yes, sir. And they direct your prayers, how you pray and how you plan. So those, some people have made it a custom. Now, our YouTube page had 500 subscriptions at last year. Now it is up to 3,000 and it is growing by the day. Because some people have custom themselves to the things of the Spirit. They use this prophetic antenna to direct their, their lives. God will direct you prophetically. Amen. God will direct you prophetically. Amen. As you connect to this grace, He will speak to you. Amen. And He will direct you. Amen. Now, this was that this part that we release on the YouTube is the part that has to do with the globe. But to that that we release to you that is inside here, or to those we give directly when they contact us for prayer, run with it speedily. Run with those prophetic messages. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There is this word I had to pass to the Pierre France. Five things he told me to tell them. Today on his consume, today's message, Ibos are loved. Today's message is only for them. Ibos. 
But so many people say they are not Igbos. If whether you lock it or not, so many people say rivers is not Igbo. Some states are not Igbos. But if you go back to history, we are all Igbos. Names, check our names. Check names of streets. Check. No, you may not say according to map that you are Igbos, but according to inclinement, cultural inclinement or tradition, you may come to know that all of us are almost from the same parents. Despite where you are from, Benin, River State, and all the rest. So let's leave all those segregations and separations. Five powerful messages says I should pass to you, dear friends. One, he says I should tell you this. The words of the prophets are not to be joked with. Please run with it. One, you are not an identified state constitutionally, but an identified people. Globally, stop feeling oppressed. What did I say? You are not an identified state constitu constitutionally. Let me add it yet. But an identified people globally, stop feeling oppressed. <laughs> because waiting to be identified constitutionally has made you look down on the potentials you have as an identified people globally. There are many nations on the face of the earth that things may not go well if you extract all the evil papers there. Am I speaking to somebody now? Yes, sir. So stop feeling oppressed. What, where is the oppression coming from? You are the one oppressing yourselves in your mind. Caleb entered that land, came back. Twelve of them. Two people said, Caleb and Joshua, we be able. Others says we are not able. We, we are like grasshoppers. Don't see yourself as grasshoppers. No. The impact you want to make as a nation when you are separated, you can still make that impact starting from now. Am I making sense to somebody now? Some people who want to abuse us say, oh God, that you are talking, leave that in. We want to be, we want the state of Biafra. I am talking to you as one who hears from God. Stop belittling yourself in your mentality because you are identified globally. Two, you can't fight the Nigerian government physically, but you can fight for your destinies spiritually. Is anyone speaking what I'm saying now? Dear friends, you cannot fight, the, you can't. You can't fight the Nigerian government physically. But you can fight for your destinies spiritually. Avoid inciting wars. I'm a student of history. I know my history so well. In fact, you can go to documentaries on YouTube and watch the Biafran War. If you finish watching that video, don't skip any part. The world documented Biafran War. The world documented that documented everything, how it started until their leader said this is enough and he traveled out and handed over to his second who handed over and said this is over you will know that war is not to be prayed for you will know that war don't put war in prayer you know, I, I will go fight them. you have not seen history if you see history and you say pray for war to an extent it affected all the neighboring states food you won't see any food the nations are sending to you yet you won't it won't get to you it won't that's where question was started don't pray for war don't wish for war you want to abuse the prophets on your comment session like i told you before those that will be watching online now before the comment drops they have they wiped it away and also block the person because some people pass through this channel to receive spiritual guidance so if you don't respect spiritual things they remove the person. So, what I am telling you in essence, my dear, believe you me, this was heard from the throne room and I am passing it to prayer friends. Three, you may not agree that you are Nigerians, but you can encounter breakthrough within the Nigerian contest. Abide by rules, regulation, and authority. Hear me now. You sell books, religious books, an individual, I said religious books. You enter this church. Anything we do in this church, you don't like it. Anything we preach, we don't like it. You may not agree that you are a member of this church, but there is a way you can behave so you can just sell your books to the members and move away with your money. True of us. I believe you understand that scenario.
Nero. You may not agree that you are Nigerians, but there are some things that you do that is turning down on your own economy. Sit at home, sit down at home, all those things. Is it still on? Mondays, they sit down and it is impacting on your own economy. It is affecting you directly. God loves Biafra so much. As a matter of fact, I believe that the person, the father of Ibos, must have connection with Jesus Christ. I am telling you the honest truth as a black man. God loves Biafra so much. So this is a message he says I should pass to them. Those of you here, those of you watching online. So abide by regulations and authority. Because you so you will not shoot yourself with your leg at your leg with yourself. So until all others are one, the young won't smell the liberation they yearn for. We have such a oneness. A house divided against itself shall not what? Ebos, you need to be a unity. Not to fight the Nigerian government. Because constitutionally it is wrong. I am a pastor. I will never ever encourage that. Whether you want to abuse me from now till tomorrow, I will tell you that. If your liberation comes, it will come by God. Not by war. Not by fighting. Five, finally. He told me categorically, Nam the canon regaining victory is more spiritual than physical. And no spiritual exercise carried out can be answered in a geopolitical zone on United. He will be set free very soon. That's what I heard. Amen. He will be set free very soon. But the geopolitical zone in question has to be united. The elders should not be saying another thing. The youth saying another thing. The children saying another thing. In all, God opened my eyes. I saw elders forming a quorum. Forming, I saw them seated together approaching the presidency for this same matter. I also saw some youths boiling up to activate something that looks like what will generate or start another war. God says I should give you a warning. It can't stand and it can't hold. Don't do that. Don't go that path. Don't do what? Go that path. If God wants ego to be on its own, Yoruba to be on its own, Arusa to be on its own, it is just by one thing that God will do. If you want it by yourself, there will be bloodshed. So don't go that path. And he says we should pray for, as a church, pray for the Igbo land. Today is for them. Tomorrow it might be for your clan. Next tomorrow it might be for my clan. We raise our right hand to heaven. Say, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the Igbo clans, the Igbo clans, or the Biafrans, the Biafrans, wherever they are, wherever, wherever they, they are, in every country they find themselves, in every country they find themselves. God gives them wisdom, God, God gives them wisdom. to embrace peace, to embrace the strength in them, to embrace, embrace in us, to embrace the, the victory God has already put in them, to embrace the victory God and not to go the path of war, and not to go the path of war, and to become great as God has made them. And to become great as God has made them. In the name of Jesus, as I spoke, so shall it be. In the name of Jesus. Now this is for Nigeria. God says I should tell you that your light is coming. Amen. And he says I should tell the political class, those that think that they are sitting on the As it will be, our correspondent has last week ex exclusively reported that the military high command was planning to declare some people wanted. Unlike the November 2022, when the military declared a fewer than 19 bandit leaders wanted with a bounty of 5 million on each of them, to encourage Nigerians to volunteer information that could lead to their arrest. This time around, a bounty was placed on 97 persons declared wanted. The names and pictures contain theories from the north, east, not east, not west, and as well insurgents in the southeast and north central. A total of 43 persons were declared wanted in northwest zone ravaged by banditry among which are Alhaji Shingi, Malindi Yakubu, Boka, Dogogide, Haliu Sabudu, Ado Aliru, Belo Tuji, Damboko, La Adi. Uh, these are the names uh, 
if you go to the southeast, uh, they they say that um, on the southeast side, when can I read the southeast side uh, so that you'll be able to know the one? They say for the southeast, uh, Simon Eba Chika Edosium Egede Egede Zuma, thank God, Gentle, Flavor, Matthew, uh, David Ndubisi, High Chief Williams, Agbo, Ebuka, Mwaka, Friday, Ojimba, Obie Messi Chukode, aka Dan Chuk, David Ezequem, Chidebube, uh, and Amo Bichuno Soka for aka Tempo, among others. Uh, these are the names that were released by the Nigerian soldiers, and according to them, these are people who are on their wanted list. I see the B, it don't shell everywhere, don't the hot. Uh, but meanwhile, I say, okay. Uh, what you not doing? I don't try. But I want to ask, what about some uh, government official politicians and all of them will be say uh, that they follow for underground, they do some of uh, these things where they happen. Uh, why they are no follow for that particular release where these people release? I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to say uh, kudo ya ede, kudo ya chia, asi de bi. I don't shale, asi de bi, you get one information now, we'll be say just the drop from my table. Uh, for that information, make I show you the caption, make you see asi de bi. Uh, that information said, troops raid IPOB ESN camp in Ebony State, recover arms. Oh, shale la, make I carry you go to the full detail of that information, make you see what in the sub there. They say troop of sector two Ebony of the Joint Tax Force Operation Udoka have conducted a raid on the indigenous people of Biafra and its armed affiliate Eastern Security Network ESN camp located in Mbaluku in Isimago Izi local government area of Ebony. This is contained in a statement issued on Friday in Enugu by Lieutenant Colonel Jonah Onuahalo spokesperson of Operation Udoka. The successful raid, the army said, was carried out by the army troops in conjunction with personnel of Nigerian Police Force, the Department of State Security, and the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, based on credible intelligence on Thursday. He said that during the operation, troops came in contact with the, with the terrorists, which resulted in neutralization of their members why others fled into the nearby bushes according to the information the troops he said recovered one ak-47 rifle two ak-47 magazines 54 rounds of 7.62 mm special ammunition two handheld radios and three stolen sienna buses the force commander joint tax force southeast operation udoka major general hassan dada wishes to appreciate uh, the synergy among the troops and other uh, security agencies. Uh, this one, uh, the, that information will be say it enter for my table. I say make I share and straight away uh, before a man device now. Uche, Uche, Baba, Onyobuna, Nyankye. And as you know that um, this Uche, it they come like service. Uh, sometimes it they come, it they go, it they come, it they go, it they come, it they go. He don't shell it. Uh, meanwhile, uh, I go to wait. They check uh, Master Simon Eba X handle to see what is going to be his reply uh, to the wanted list that the NIG Army them boys has added him into. Uh, what is Simon Eba going to say? Uh, what is going to be his response, his reaction on this particular matter? He don't shell it. Uh, he get one information. Why I want to bring to you now? Uh, uh, one person report say he and my friend they pregnant the same time uh, can't give birth the same time two of them are best friend uh, so for the hospital where they give birth if you say the other one one of the friend they reach past the other one so as they give birth finish uh, in friend can't swap in own baby can't carry in own baby uh, put for the in, the other person baby can't carry the other person baby yeah, but uh, something can happen. Casaladon boss, because of the technology, uh, we be say he don't do this time. He be like saying a CCTV camera. Now you see the woman, the atrocity where you want commit, and uh, now they can't catch and come. They ask and say, Madam, 
Eh, why you want to do this kind of thing? Now the woman say, I beg. Say make the no beat and make she do open confession. She say her own husband poor. And eh, she no go want to make her child Peking suffer. Now why ain't swap the Peking? Carry in front Peking. Carry her own Peking. Go put for in front. So that in own Peking go fit and joy. <laughs> Uh, when I hear that story, I say, wow, 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 meh, wow, 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 meh. But what blew me out friend, now friend, the key friend, though, uh, even though uh, I know follow for person, we go, they say, avoid friend, because I'm um, not God, now in the protect person, but you can go, they use a corner chair, uh, because a corner chair, now in the wisdom, uh, I can't uh, better than your papa, it uh, better than your mama. Now, be the wisdom, I can't uh, better than house, it uh, better than money. Uh, because if person fit get money, you know, get a can't uh, and I be said that money go finish. First in fit uh, get everything. If you know, get still get a can't uh, now be say, uh, now I'm buying, now I'm going to reach. As it be, they say police don't bust fake drink factory in Lagos to arrest for. As <laughs> Um, if you they see what I they see, but I go just use my mouth to explain it to you, my brother. Uh, I know one they call the name of wine where they hear, uh, make you no know, go be say I they do advertisement or maybe uh, I they try spoil person business. Uh, but for the place where these people they produce this wine, uh, these people they do all manner of wine you can think of, uh, even the expensive VOCOPs and the vodcast them. Uh, they inside that factory. <laughs> you get one big drink where we say it's a trend for this country where all the big men they like drink. They say now for the place where they produce that drink, they say it be like saying only hundred nine that they produce for every year. Uh, but for Nigeria here, people they buy more than hundred a year. And my question be say we peep, the people where they produce their own, it be like say they then be the pine wine to pass of that particular wine. Uh, that wine a big wine, but I'm not gonna call him name. If you be person with the club, well, 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 you go know the drink while they talk. Uh, not big drink. I uh, hear be the one I hear. Kambunye go be less poor. Meanwhile, here I go the wine down the curtain. And if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel, kindly go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, share, and also remember to all your notification buttons so that whenever our news drop, you will be the first one. Collect time. Thank you for listening. God bless you.